Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. So, first of all, I want to thank uh, the organizers of this conference for the possibility to give a talk and to be here in the International Center of Theoretical Physics. This work is done with my colleague Anton Voloshin from the same institute. The main goal of our work and of my talk here is to obtain, is to derive a fully homogenized model uh, describing a non-equilibrium two-phase flow in double porosity media in the framework of the Kandaurov model. So to my knowledge, for the moment, there are three main non-equilibrium two-phase flow models. The first one is maybe the most famous and belongs to Barenblatt, where the relative permeabilities and the capillary pressure depend not on the real saturation, but on the so-called effective parameters. The second one is the Hassanizade model uh, involving the dynamical capillary pressure. And more recently, the third model was proposed by Kandaurov. In the framework of this model, in the framework of this model, the relative permeabilities and the capillary pressure depend both on the real saturation and the so-called non-equilibrium parameter, which satisfies the a kinetic equation. So the notation, the notation is uh, standard. A few words, uh, a few words about uh, this model, and then we pass to the homogenization. Okay. So the notation is classical for the two-phase flow in uh, porous media. Uh, we suppose that the relative permeabilities, the relative permeabilities depend both on the saturation and the Kondaurov non-equilibrium parameter. So this, para pardon, this parameter satisfies the following, the following kinetic equation. Tau is uh, the relaxation time in this equation. Now we can, we can present the equations of the flow. They are maybe rather known, except this new parameter which appears in the equations. Now we start, we pass to the homogenization problem, which is the main subject of the talk. First of all, we consider a porous reservoir omega uh, with a complicated, rather complicated micro or mesostructure. So it is made of epsilon periodically distributed cubes, the matrix block, and the connected set of the fissures. Uh, due to the second parameter, delta, one can see that uh, the measure of the Fisher set is small, is asymptotically small, as two parameters go to zero. Okay? This uh, justifies the geometry with, really, with thin fissures. So if delta is fixed, we have no this, this relation. But if delta goes to zero, we have that the, fracture, the fractures are very thin asymptotically. Now, uh, in the classical double porosity homogenization, it is assumed that uh, the 
absolute permeability tensor is of order one in the Fisher system and it is like epsilon square in the matrix blocks. In our case, we have two parameters, I repeat. In our case, we have the following relation. So in the matrix block, we have that this permeability tensor is of order epsilon square, epsilon delta square. Now we rewrite uh, the system of equations of Kondorov, of the Kondorov equations like the equations with rapidly oscillating coefficients, no comments, it is a very complicated system. So, now we are going to study the asymptotic behavior of the model that is the solution to this model as epsilon and delta go to zero. Now the first step, uh, we can show that the model admits homogenization. That is, we can pass to the limit as epsilon goes to zero. And we assume, in addition, that the known equilibrium phenomena occur in the matrix block only, but not in the Fisher's part. So using the method of two-scale asymptotic expansions, we obtain the following homogenized, but uh, delta model. Why delta model? Because all the coefficients depend on the parameter delta. The terms, the terms on the right side of the equations, the additional source terms are defined as follows. Where small s delta is the solution of the following of the following local problem. This problem is formulated in terms of the phase pressures and the saturation. So the first, the first proposition, which is uh, mathematically proved that we can replace this local problem by the following boundary value problem for the non-equilibrium matrix imbibition equation, which is uh, really more simple sample than the previous one. Now we have to pass to the limit as delta goes to zero, and we make a purely heuristic step. We linearize this imbibition equation. The idea belongs to Todar Bogast and was proposed in the 90s, I think. We do not justify mathematically this step, but the numerical tests show that the solutions to these equations become more and more close as delta goes to zero because the solutions are of boundary layer type solutions. So the nonlinearity of equation plays, plays no role if delta is rather small. So the linearized uh, system reads, it has the following form and uh, we want to pass to the limit in the simplified model, okay? Our a priori information is the asymptotical behavior of the exchange term, we know this. We also know the asymptotical behavior of the porosity function and the global permeability tensor. Then the final step, at the final step passing to the limit as delta goes to zero, we obtain, we obtain the following system of equations where the exchange terms are defined only 
in terms of the given data of the mesoscopic model. Now, a few words about the references. As for the Kandauras model, I refer here for two, uh, to Kandaurov, to Kandaurov's paper in the Journal of Applied Mathematics, and also uh, the papers by Konyukov and Tarakanov. As for the homogenization results in double porosity media, the first uh, non, non equilibrium to phase flow in double porosity media, the first result is obtained by Salimi and Bruining. Then this result was, uh, was revisited in our, pardon, in our paper with, with uh, Pamphilov and Damasian. As for the homogenization results concerning uh, the homogenization of Kandaura's double porosity model, we have the following papers. Finally, the fully homogenized models were obtained in the following, in the following papers. Uh, the first one and the second one are concerned uh, concern the equilibrium to phase flow in double porosity media. So thank you for your attention. So, here we have, we have the nonlinear equation like, like this, and we linearize, so we replace this function f by its mean value and consider the linearized one. So, so if we put delta rather small, we see that there is no difference between the solutions. Okay. Because uh, maybe it is rather clear, but this small term in front of the differential operator kills the solution except uh, the boundary layer. Everywhere it is, uh, it is like a constant. Like this. And is, is your method uh, uniformly accurate for all? Uh, okay, we are working on. <laughs> so we have verified that this works. And uh, as for the papers by Arbogast, uh, there is no small parameter in front of the differential operator. So Arbogast. Uh, justify only the qualitative uh, behavior of the solution. We can linearize, but uh, in this case, we have, a rather we have a difference between the solution. In this case, we, we linearize and there is no loss of accuracy, real accuracy. Yes. Pardon? Yes, yes. I think, I think, I think, I think. I think that really the presentation is purely mathematical one. <laughs> but uh, it's possible. It's a lot of math material to present, so you see. Uh, it's only a scheme. <laughs>